So, hi everybody. So, um, welcome uh, to the seminar. And um, from my side, my name is Yue. I'm working at the international office at ISM, International School of Management, um, and taking care of our international degree seeking students. So um, it is my first time and um, to hold a, a seminar for students from Turkey and um, via um, BEF. Um, I hope um, that I can give you an informative uh, session and I really appreciate your participation. So um, let's start. So after a brief introduction to the university, I will go through and our study programs and the mission process afterwards, I will tell you about the study fees and um, also the financing possibilities. So our university, ISM, International School of Management, has seven campuses in Germany. We are headquartered in Dortmund, which is also the oldest and also our biggest campus. This is also where I am located right now. So besides Dortmund, we have also campuses in Frankfurt, Munich, Hamburg, Cologne, Stuttgart, and Berlin. As you can see from this map, uh, we're actually covering almost all major big cities in Germany, from the very northern part to the very southern part. So I'm sure um, you know these cities, or at least some of these cities. So some of the study programs are offered at all our campuses. Some are only on certain campuses. So if one study program is offered on several campuses, so study contents and structure are actually identical. So it is only a personal preference where uh, students would like to study. And um, so in ISM International School of Management is a private university in Germany with state recognition. So I'm telling you this because it's important information because you want to know if the degrees you obtain from the ISM are also, um, also recognized by the German uh, government. And it's thus because um, all study programs are accredited by German Council of Science and Humanities, as well as Foundation for International Business Accreditation, FABAA. That means the academic degrees students receive from ISM are absolutely identical with those from public universities. So I also now in the middle of the AACSB accreditation process, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this um, concept, but the AACSB is one of the most important um, accreditation and US accreditation for business schools. So in the last years, ISM has also achieved very good results in different rankings such as CHE, so trend and, and universal student survey and so on. And according to um, the CHEs, IASM was selected as one of the best private business schools in Germany in 2017. So all of these results can be achieved because of our international focus, practical orientation and personal atmosphere. So we have integrated semester abroad. All students go abroad for one or two semesters at one of our partner universities. Worldwide, we have done over 190 partner universities for our students to choose. We have also very international campus with students from more than 80 nationalities. Our international office assists our students with all kinds of problems and helps them with organization, preparation, and also application of the semester abroad. So as a University of Applied Sciences, we have a very strong practical orientation. So you may know about the German universities, so there's two kinds of universities in Germany, so there is a university and university of applied sciences. So university, the traditional university, they focus on research and the um, university of applied sciences, Hochschule uh, in German, and they, for, these universities focus on um, practice. So so at ISM, internship is a part of the study program. So all students have to do a compulsory internship so they can put, they learn in the classroom into practice during the internships in companies. We have a career center and they establish connections with local business and help our students with placement. And compared to German public universities, we are a very small university with a very personal atmosphere. So we know our students by names, not by numbers. So the group size is relatively small. It's usually 10 to 25 students. 
on this can facilitate interactive learning in the classroom. So we have also um, a very strong service orientation. That means, for example, we do not have opening hours. So students can always drop by if anything comes up. So I come to the main part um, of the seminar, of the presentation. So we have altogether nine bachelor programs, and you can see three of them can be learned completely in English. So these are the international management, finance management, and information system for those students who do not speak German. And um, if you want to study in German, so you can also join the German taught programs with at least German B2. And, um, and let me show you the study structure of the bachelor's program at ISM. So altogether, the regular study period is seven or six semesters. So fourth semester is a compulsory semester award, and students can choose to have an additional semester board semester optionally in the seventh semester, but they, they do not have to. So altogether, students need to do a 20 weeks of internship, 10 of which need to be outside Germany. And the internships can usually be done during semester breaks. OK, so here is the mission process. We start with the general requirements. The requirement is that the students have a general qualification for ent to enter German university. So that means you need to have <laughs> the uh, secondary school education from your country that allows you to study in your home country. So um, I'm not sure if you heard about the uh, German word Studienkolleg, um, which is called foundation year in English. So this is not required for us. So um, Sorry, there's something um, pop up uh, faster. And um, so let's continue. And um, the first step would be that we check the documents and, and to make sure if you're eligible for the application. And, and then students may register for the admission test. The admission test has two parts, a written part and an interview. The written part of the test contains several small parts and there are intelligence tests, knowledge tests, mathematics and English. And um, the personal interview will be followed after um, the written test. And all of these can be, of course, done via Zoom online if you're currently not in Germany. So after the evaluation of the test, we are going to able to tell you if you can be accept, accepted or not. So that is the that for the bachelor's program, and now I come to the master's program. So we have much more English taught master program, as you can see by these symbols. So we have international management, like strategic marketing management, digital marketing finance, business intelligence, data science, international logistics supply chain management, luxury fashion sales management, and also the international business. So these um, courses can be studied completely in English. That means you do not need to know German for these courses. And just a, a brief introduction of the study structure. So master programs has a regular study period of three semester, followed by a, a thesis semester. And um, there's also a going board uh, semester, which is in the third semester, and students also are required to do a compulsory internship of 12 weeks. We have also an MBA program, which is for our uh, applicants with working experiences. So this is a full-time MBA. That means they have lectures from Monday to Friday. And it is offered in Munich, has a duration of one year altogether. So there's a study structure of three trimesters i'm sorry so one trimester is three months so during two trimesters there's one month break so that means students have three months of classes then they have one month one month break and then another three months and then another one month break so 
the application process is like this. It's uh, similar to the um, bachelor's program. So firstly, we need to check if the students are eligible for the application, and then they can apply for um, the admission test um, or the interview for MBA. And after the evaluation, so we are going to tell the students if you can be accepted or not. So for a master's program, so the admission test will be in form of a case study. So case study means the students register for the admission test, then they receive three topics. And they choose one of them and work out small essay and a PowerPoint presentation on that topic. And on the day of the interview, they need to present the results to the program director and have a small discussion with him. And uh, for the MBA program, the applicants do not need to do a case study, so it's only the interview that they have to pass. So the English requirements is that L6 or TOEFL 80, or you have a Cambridge um, English certificate, or you studied in the English language, so all of these can be accepted as a proof of English. So, as I mentioned before, there are 190 partner universities abroad. Here you can have an overview where these partner universities are located. As you can see, and we have many of them in Europe, um, but also we are very good networked worldwide. And as for master's program, we have a unique feature that we have um, double degree programs, and that means students receive two degrees after graduation, one from ISM, one from the university. Uh, with them, we have a cooperation in double degrees. And these um, are the universities currently we have uh, with um, double degree cooperation. So this is um, a slide. You can see you have an impression where um, our alumni, our graduates are working. So due to the international horizon and the practical experiences of our graduates, so the career perspectives are quite nice, as you can see from this slide. And um, so most of our students can find a job within three months after graduation. And so let's uh, I'll come to, let's say, the pain part of the presentation and the study fees. So since we're a private university, we also charge tuition fees. The amount depends on the campus. So Dortmund um, is cheaper, for example, than Munich. As you can see for the bachelor program, so these are the fees per semester. And there are six semesters in study program. That means students have to pay six times of these fees. And additionally, they pay, so for non-EU students, they need to pay 1,500 um, enrollment fees. And then um, that for the bachelor's program and for the master's program. So um, these are the fees per semester for the first two three semesters. So in the last semester, there's no fee, there's no courses. That's why students only pay 1,200 euro um, for the study fees, uh, for the thesis. And the MBA course, the regular fee, so all together, students need to pay um, 23,400 euros, so including enrollment and thesis. So international students need to pay a deposit of either 6,000 or 7,000 euros. So this is not an extra fee. So it is actually a fee for, sem for first semester. So international students have to like to pay these fees um, in advance to secure a study place. So then um, we have also grants and scholarships for students, um, also for international students with best performances. So they are partial or full scholarship, and um, scholarships um, are, of course, only a deduction of the tuition fee, and they do not cover any living expenses. So, um, so the students need to show, and, and they have excel excellent academic performance, and um, they are very social engaged, and also they have the financial need. Then the candidates will be selected. Okay, for the summer term 2021, we have announced also the early bird scholarship of 1,000 euro, and that will be credited into the second semester fee. So this is for the applicants for 
2021 summer term, that means March in next year. So I think um, I've done and you can, I, ho I hope you have got the first impression of our university. So if in interested in studying an ISM, you can just uh, give me or my colleague Taigun um, an email. So um, my colleague Taigun, maybe you can tell from his name, he's also uh, from Turkey. And um, so you may also communicate with him uh, with um, your language, of course, if it makes you to feel easier. Okay, then So this is um, the presentation for today.